Welcome to this month's edition of Portside with the Pilots. I'm your host, Jamie Hudson. It's been an eventful few weeks here on the Bluff, so let's get right to it. Coming up, a senior on the cross country team conducts research with a professor that will help prevent flooding on the UP campus in the event of a major storm in the city. Also, the story of how the leadership of UP baseball's Cooper Hummel and Jordan Wilcox has helped the team reach new levels this season. Coming into the spring, it's just fun, loose. We have a lot of fun. Just bring back summer ball. But first, earlier this month, University of Portland Director of Athletics Scott Lakeham announced the hiring of Portland Trailblazers legend and former NBA coach Terry Porter to lead the UP men's basketball program. Porter is a 17-year NBA veteran that made two trips to the NBA Finals with the Blazers, and his jersey was retired by the franchise back in 2009. Porter was formally introduced at a press conference in the Child Center on April 5th, and he has hit the ground running in his first couple of weeks on the bluff. Portland is my home. I love this city. Terry, Blazers lead. Phoenix calls its final timeout. It is an honor to welcome Terry, his wife Susie, and their three children to the University of Portland community. I'm excited about the journey, and I think we all know that we got a long journey ahead of us, but um, you know, for me, it's about strapping up and getting after it. As our new men's basketball coach, we announced an icon and somebody that everyone in the city of Portland has held up on a pedestal for what he's done both in basketball and in the community. I think that combination of what he can do for us in the campus community, greater Portland community, and obviously most importantly from a basketball perspective will be uh, very valuable for the University of Portland. We're talking to Terry Porter, the new coach, University of Portland basketball. What was it like today to go through that introductory news conference and meeting a lot of uh, important season ticket holders? It was great. It was great. Uh, everybody obviously very excited about the program. Everybody excited about the possibilities. And I uh, got a chance to meet a lot of longtime alumni and people who have been great supporters of the program and, um, and just looking to uh, you know, get things rolling. The excitement around the program from the moment the story broke is something that, that we obviously have not seen in a few years. Uh, I look at that as a positive, but I also look at that as a challenge for our basketball program, our athletic department, and our university. We're off to a great start in terms of impact in the community. Now it's up to us um, to maintain that. Well, it's been great. Um, everybody's been very inviting. Excited about meeting me and excited about the opportunities and uh, so it was great for me to walk around campus, get the lay of the land, get a chance to meet people, I mean, the faculty, students, and um, it's been very exciting. I've always worked on being a disciplined player. I think that really translates well. I think it's also that we have to be a very tough group. I think when you talk about what we have to get accomplished and how we go out, especially when we face the road. I want to say thank you so much and go Pilots! Every year, the University of Portland Student Athlete Advisory Committee hosts the St. Baldrick's event where students, faculty, and staff shave their heads to raise money for childhood cancer research. With men's soccer leading the way, this March, multiple UP teams got involved to help raise over $12,000. Every year we uh, have a St. Baldrick's event to uh, raise money for uh, children's cancer research. And usually it's just a men's soccer event, but this year we've changed it up a little bit by including more of the other teams. In the past, we have raised more funds for St. Baldrick's, but this year we had a lot more involvement from every team on campus 
and that was awesome for us to see not just men's soccer raising money and shaving their heads but we had almost all of men's tennis shave their heads there were multiple teams that raised over a thousand dollars and we had people from almost every team donating so it was really great to just see this change from a soccer specific activity to something the whole athletic department can get behind I think it speaks volumes about it. Uh, impressive people, uh, willing to kind of, a lot of people like their hair a lot. Um, some guys have seen very styled hair coming out here to get rid of it um, in support of something I think is a very uh, noble foundation. It's just awesome to have the UP community's support, um, not only from uh, the sports side, but just from the entire school. We've actually had a couple people just come see that the events going on and stop by which is always awesome to see that coming up on port side a up student athlete receives the 2016 provost initiative on undergraduate research award